Hi girls, it's Dee Dee and today I have a tutorial. It's this look. It's kind of a dramatic, heavy look and I'm wearing like a lot of makeup. But I basically used this uh, palette and this is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone and it's amazing. It has like all the colors you would need. It has all the like browns and bronzy color and like shimmery green colors. They're very nice, very pigmented. I was really impressed with this palette and definitely that's gonna be on my favorite palettes. It's quite easy look but it's very dramatic for a night out or something. So if you're interested to see how I created this look, just stay tuned. So let's get started. I already applied this eye as you can see and for this eye I just applied my um, Urban Decay Primer Potion. Next I'm gonna apply this palette. It's from Crayolan and it's called Super Color Makeup Palette and it's basically a cream um, and I'm just going to take this white and I'm going to use it as a base. So if you have it, apply a little bit and then blend it with your finger. Um, if you don't have this palette, um, just use any white cream base because I want my lid to be white so this color is will show. Next I'm going to take this Bobbi Brown Longwear Lasting Cream in honey, Beach Honey, looks like this, and I'm going to apply this on top of my white base. I'm going to take my 239 brush from MAC, it's a flat brush, you can take any flat brush, and I'm going to start with the brow bone um, color. I'm going to apply this in the inner part of my lid. Next I'm going to take this brush, this is from Rock, Rock and Republic and this is number 202. It's a big flat brush and I'm going to take my second color which is the uh, eyelid color. I'm going to take it on my brush and start tapping on the outer part of my lid. Taking it a little bit up to the crease, a little bit. And blend it with the other color. Now I'm going to take my 217 uh, brush from MAC and I'm going to take the crease color and I'm going to start from here like that and then work it to the crease. I'm going to add a little bit more. Next I'm going to take the same brush, the 202, and I'm going to take the eyelid color, the champagne color, and I'm going to place this on top of the crease color, like that. Then I'm going to take my 222 blending brush from MAC and blend these two colors together, like that. I'm going to take my 239 brush and I'm going to take the brow bone color. And I'm going to apply this under my brow bone, like that. And Next I'm going to take 266, it's an angled eyeliner brush. And I'm going to take my last color, the definer, it's a dark brown and it's very pigmented. This color is not going to show, I'm just going to contour for my eyeliner. I'm gonna start. See how pigmented. I want to draw a little wing, not too much. So, I'm just gonna line. This is gonna be my guideline for uh, my liquid eyeliner. like that. I'm just gonna line with the same color under my waterline.
And I'm gonna link these two lines to make my caddy up. Okay, so you can stop right here and apply some mascara and you're good to go. Or you can make it more dramatic like this eye. I'm gonna take my Art Teco um, liquid eyeliner and it's very very thin, that's what I like about it. Just gonna go over the line I draw with the uh, uh, brown color. And also I'm just going to take it a little bit down uh, to my, under my waterline. I would love to draw my eyes like this, like thin from the beginning and get thicker, but I can. Because uh, as you can see here, I have a mole and it clicks with the upper uh, part of my eyelid, so um, it makes my um, eyeliner melt. So I have to draw it that thick. But if you want to do it that way, that would be great. I do it on my friends and my clients and stuff. So I'm just gonna go over the line again. I want to link this part as much as I can. Okay, so now I'm gonna make it thicker. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to apply some of the brow bone color. Just here. Next I'm going to take a black pencil, this is from Revlon and it's called number one black and I'm going to line my waterline. And close my eyes to um, get the upper part of the waterline. Next you want to curl your lashes and I'm going to use um, um, this Chanel um, white mascara, like a primer, and it doesn't show white, it's clear, but I think it protects your eyelashes. Next I'm gonna apply my Herb Decay Big Fatty Mascara in black. So this is your final look. Okay, for the blush, I already applied my blush. I contoured with the uh, Benefit number 10 um, brush. I contoured with this and I highlighted with this. And for my blush, I used from MAC Peach Keen. It's such an amazing shimmery orangey color. So for the lips, I don't want anything dramatic because I have a lot of makeup on my eyes. So I'm just gonna wear a gloss and I'm using my chapstick. 
and I'm gonna use Yves Saint Laurent Sparkle Touch for lips and this is a number two it's a shimmery no color So that should be your final look. Definitely this is not an everyday look but I really like it and I would definitely wear it if I'm going somewhere like night out or something. Um, I hope you guys like this look and let me know what you think. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. I'm gonna see you in my next video. Ciao ragazzi!